All right, what initially got me curious of what is going on with these batteries are each one of these batteries had a different state of charge. This one here went into voltage overload, you know, fully charged, supposedly, the whole bank. I mean, it'd go up to 15 and a half volts, where these guys would stay below. And you look at the state of charge, and all four of them are different. So what I did was disconnect everything, everything shut off, and try to balance them using a 45 amp, 12 volt iota lithium battery charger. And I started over here on this one, and I got this one up to 100%. It went from 70, I'm sorry, 85%, got up to 100%. And then you get on the app, and the cells aren't in balance. They're about 100 millivolts off. I don't know much, I don't know if that's the correct or not, but it might be. This one over here, the one that had the high voltage, was sitting at 100% state of charge when I disconnected everything. Now it's sitting at, you know, resting, 13.3 volts, and you look at the cells, and they're all, I mean, within a thousand, thousands of a volt. It almost looks like this one's a good battery now. Go figure. Now here's the crux. I left this battery charger plugged in to this battery down here for over two days. Completely isolated, disconnected from system, just battery charger on a battery. Beginning state of charge, 76%. Ending state of charge, 76%. Why in the hell won't this thing go up to 100% state of charge with the battery charger sitting on it for over two days? Answer that one for me. So now I've got the battery charger hooked up to this one here with a starting state of charge at 77%. And I'm watching it. See if it would uh, hop back up to 100% like this one did. <sighs> Not trying to badmouth kilovolt, but uh, either I'm doing something incorrectly or something isn't correct here, or there's a battery balancing issue while stringing these things up, or whatever. But um, I need some answers. I want some answers. And I'm not getting them. So I guess I'm going to have to make some phone calls next week and go from there. But I cannot recommend these batteries. Um, you know, you can you can talk about getting a battery balancer for four 12 volt batteries, and I actually have one on order. But if I can't get the battery state of charge, or the BMS to reset itself up to 100 percent when I've had a battery charger on it for two freaking days, what's that tell you? It might be a moot purchase to get a balancer on this if it, if this battery is failing over here, or that one, or that one, or that one. But uh, you know, you spend thousands of dollars. You know, I'll try to get 14. What's this rated? 14.4 kilowatt hours in series here. And uh, you know, the funny thing is, I actually get about 10 to 11 kilowatt hours before I disconnected them, from what I can tell with my Outback Power Optics RE Make 3 right here. They were actually outputting the kilowatt hours relatively decent. But just looking at them and what their BMS is saying and gut feeling and then one going into overload tells me something is not jiving here. So, appreciate your comments. You know, um, every little bit helps. And uh, I'll keep you updated about what I'm going to do with this battery bank. And if I was the owner of the company, I'd want to hear and see videos like this and get to the bottom of it. And we'll see what type of um, see, see what type of feedback I get when I talk with these people. Thanks for watching.